My life, is that what you're asking about? My life can be explained by taking a stroll down memory lane with me. What can I say? I am an 18 year old and was given the name of Javier Morales by two caring parents. My life is not perfect as you can see right away. I, I am proud though of the person who I become and take pride in all the things I have done and currently do. My life is perceived as perfect from the view of others as they try to see through my sunglasses. My life is not perfect as I mentioned before. People cannot see the suffering in my eyes through my dark sunglasses. My life has been one that has gone through ups and downs such like hiding in a fence ditch as a drive-by occurs next to, next to me in the alley. My only escape from this is a sewer's passage that is led by the ditch. Such, such of, such a filth of an escape, but I am alive, aren't I? I was just trapped in my own escape route. It just happened to be that my escape was a sewage pass, but sometimes that is enough to help us escape not only the danger, but reality. As I make my way through this path, I come across patches of grass behind my home. As I make my way towards it, I see a family of cats who do not trust me as I try to move along the grass. They do not trust me, but this is part of my home, my home. I can see clearly that it is not only my home, but theirs. Why then do I call everything I come into contact mine? I am not sure why. I am guessing that it has not hit me yet, and well, it soon will. As I keep walking, I finally reach this a grassy patch that leads me into the outside of the danger, into a safe zone. As I travel, I see people next to me following me and helping me through this journey. I walk alone sometimes, but I know I have friends that will be there for me at whatever cost. I keep wandering around and come across a single tree. Why is this one tree so special, you ask? I see the pain in, pain in this tree, but beyond that, it keeps growing as the world around it grows in pain. This is the hope people are looking for in the world. I have found the light of hope in this tree. In extreme conditions, this tree keeps growing and always looks great. This ray of light shines through my sunglasses and gives me the mindset of hope and that anything in this world is possible. As I wipe my eyes and put my sunglasses, I start to walk again. I start reminiscing about the, all the times that this life has, all the things that this life has provided me. As I glance up to see where I ended up, I find myself at the large, uh, biggest memory and peace of my life. As I make my way into my former and old high school, modern day, I begin to look for my old hangout spot. As I move toward, as I move into my th the 300 wing, I begin to see my locker. Like a lot of memories I have received, and to many people, this locker doesn't mean much, but to me, it meant a lot. I keep moving to my hangout spot and sit down and begin to shed in tears that drip out of my sunglasses. I begin to remember all the times that I've been, the, all the things I've been through. Like my first day of school, people saw me and people criticized by the color of my skin. I remember one student in particular had, had seen me and came across from me, but instead of making friends, made enemies. He asked me, what am, what am I doing here? This isn't my school. Valley's High School is down the street. At that moment, I didn't understand what that meant. I now, now as I grew older, I kind of understood what that really meant and how the barrier of differences in color is still applied today. Modern Day, though, was a home to me and always will be my home. I have great friends that I keep, kept, kept going with and unfortunately a loss in the modern day family. My sophomore year, 2010 to be in exact, February 27th, we found out during announcements that one of our friends had passed away, Bree Matthews. She was a great inspiration to all of us. She was had a perfect life, but I wish I, wish I could have asked her one last thing. Why? Why? Why did that happen? I I grew I grew pain I grew struggles, but in but ha that happening our class grew stronger. To, our class of 2012 graduated together. Her her legacy remained with us. On our graduation day, May 26, 2012, at the Brent Center, her name was the first name that was announced. 
and was the first graduate of the class of 2012. We we saw, we grew in tears as her mother came across the stage and received Nadia Bree Matthews diploma. Modern Day will always be a home to me, no matter what. I grew fond memories there. I, I, I know the sun sets on this place with a smile, never to be outdone by any other school. I know I have talked a lot about my story of my life, but I end with this last thing. My walk back home, I, I have understood my purpose in life up, to, un, up until this point. Do I hate my life for being the way it has been and has ended up? No, I do not. Instead, I tend to enjoy every second of it. I always walk on, let the sun shine through my sunglasses. Instead of trying to block it out, I never walk away from the, my struggles, but instead take them head on. I also know that as I walk home, I know the sun is shining bright on me. At the end of the day, I am then at one with myself. Even though this, that cycle tends to repeat itself in the end, I know I can walk home and have a smile on my face.